Oh shit, we're running a start. Oh, hello. Life is strange. Welcome everyone back to the second episode of Adventures in Life is Strange. Jake Ray and Squish Rabbit here. Hello. So last time the first episode, I feel like I started off a little angry about everything. That blonde girl just pissed me off from the beginning. I think this what I think this what it really was. I think that girl set the precedence for the first episode about me just being angry at everything. <laughs> You did seem to have the teenage angst flowing through you, so... <laughs> it, it was contagious! Oh my gosh! Anyway, so... Start off. New episode. New Jakery. We're just gonna try to make good choices today. And just remember, Victoria's gonna be there, and she's gonna be a turd. Now that I expect that, I think I'll be able to handle it a little bit better. Exactly! Now that you know, yeah. Alright, so let, let's, let's jump right in again, okay? I didn't realize she got so under your skin about, like, I don't know, her attitude. Who says sad face in real life? No one. <laughs> Who says, nobody says LOL legitimately. Okay, no one. <laughs> so why didn't bring it up to the next level and say sad face? Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> you make me angry again just thinking about her. Alright, alright, no, no. No, no more. New episode. Okay. Clean slate. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's go. Girl. Let's go talk to that nerdy girl. Anyway, what were you gonna say about? Well, the missing person's poster. Who, the Asian chick or the? Yeah, the Asian chick. She looks cool. Like I said, I want to be her friend, but like, I'm a little scared. You can be her friend in the game. I'll do that. Her name is Brooke. What's she doing? Problem with the name Brooke Jake? No, I, no. Uh. Oh, it, we, we can stop calling her Asian girl. I guess <laughs> yes, that's kind of yeah. wrong. I mean, well, I, you know, it was the only descriptor I could think of because it's not like we're <laughs> surrounded by other Asian girls. So. Then again, we could have said the girl with the red streaks. Well, that's true. The red leggings, too. She's, a she's pretty stylish. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. All right. Anyway, let's stop stalking her and walking around her like a freaking weirdo. I know we're like surrounding her and gawking. Really? Oh, this girl. Me, <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> just go up right next to her face and just breathe on her. <sighs> it's a good thing she has the iPad <laughs> or whatever or whatever she's doing. She's really engrossed. She's absolutely ignoring us though. All right. Let's let's actually talk to her. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but she had an attitude, so I, don't, I, I wanted to be like, oh, I just wanted to talk, but, th but those aren't my options. So, yeah. No, I'll be honest. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Should we rewind or something? Because that was awkward. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Uh, is this legal? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. So no, no matter what, she's just kind of rude. <sighs> Is everyone in this game rude? Is everyone in this game rude? I don't know. I hope not. New, new episode, new Jakery, come on. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. I'm not gonna search your bag. Oh yeah, I can just rewind time. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. <gasps> oh! Oh! I know what I'm gonna do. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. 
You want to fly my drone? That looks like a high fly Hell yes. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? Because of reverse time. I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Nice. Yeah. Give the drone a whirl around campus. <gasps> what? This is so much fun. Yeah, these are cool. Way to go, Jake. Hey, uh, Swiss Rabbi, if you ever want to give me something for my birthday or Christmas. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Not to say I wouldn't strap lasers to it, and, you know, be a, become a domestic terrorist, but like, it would be really cool while I lasted. You know who you're talking to, right? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I know. So we got some kids hanging out. We got. She's pretty good to find this thing. Maybe you are. Deep. Oh, is it just loop? Wait, are you not controlling it? No, no, I'm not controlling it. Oh, I thought you were flying it. No, no, no I'm, just, I'm not even doing anything. Pretty sure I just loop. Yeah, alright, it's just a loop. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Alright, I need to go find that one guy. Mm. Look, check out, yeah. Oh, there's a lot here. Hold up, hold up, dude. You want me for coffee after school? Any excuse not to study, please? I'm not desperate much, goodness. Check out on my flash drive. Hey, Max, let's push it up. Make sure it's velocity. Don't ignore this message. Hi, Max. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info in space. Hello. Dude, why is he texting me so much? I wonder why. Uh huh. I mean, he did say she was smart, so. That's true. That's true. Alright, well, let's go meet him in the parking lot since he's gonna be all. Oh my god. People texting me. Dead. Oh. Hey, <laughs> hey. Whoa, wait, do I have money? Check your account. Does this mean we can spend money? We'll find out. <coughs> Always. Do to get to you later today? Absolutely, I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Mom. Wait, what time is it now? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Where's my dorm? Where are the dorms? I don't need that journal. Oh, this way? Yeah. Who are you? Nobody. Oh, that was the girl that pushed me out. That was the girl that pushed me in the hallway. Nope. Nope. Kick her while she's down. Kick her while she's down. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I gotta meet these people. I don't know. Don't you wanna do a lot while you can. I don't... Can you come back to this spot? I don't know. I, I mean... Yeah, alright. I'll talk to him. Hey, nerd. Give me your muffin. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott. Little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. Ooh. Uh. I almost wish you told the principal now, so that maybe you could tell this dude. Hey, guess what? I've got news on. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I want to be. All right. If I say it will happen, that might prompt him to do it. If I say he'll take himself down, maybe he'll just agree with me. He'll take himself down. Yeah. History always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. What? Oh my gosh, he just called you a sheeple. Should we try to fix that interaction or just go with it? Nah, no, just go with it. Okay. Are you not gonna go to the dormitory?
dormitories, get my... F I could have to go to the dormitories, get my flash drive. And then... Meet... On, Logan, bring it, meet that guy in the lot. Meet Dreamy Boy. Yeah, Warren, and yeah. then go... Get... Go, then go get tea. Okay, alright, alright. She gotta like keep track of her schedule. This is like real life. This is I stressful. need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. I play video games to not have to deal with real life, and yet I'm dealing with real life here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep track of the schedule. <laughs> okay. Cool. This is what video games are for. Am I gonna get hit in the head with a football? I don't think so. Alright. Have to go walk this way. Just need to walk into the. Just need to go in. Nope. Yeah, but I mean, these people are in the, in the front, in the way of the front door. And I know I'm gonna... But it's her! If I told Warren what's going on, would he laugh? Alright. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, she's tearing down the teacher that she's been kissing up to? Since you know all <laughs> she's the, answers, the field. I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. Yeah. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Awesome. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. What? I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. No, I'm trying to. I want to climb up there. be like a certain it's gotta be something you gotta do right hey Samuel there goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window I don't want, yeah I don't want to hurt Sam but like <laughs> well cuz I want to see if you could like punch her with a with a ball yes What are you saying yes about? Well, the paint. No. I gotta do something with the paint. Probably before he puts it up there, right? What? I don't know, I'm just saying. Mm. You probably have to rewind, right? Oh wait, maybe that'll give a, her idea if she looks at the sprinkler. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Yes, so how do I do that? Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Okay, fine. I go all the way back for you. Keep walking. None shall pass. Capiche? What do I do? Trust me, go all the way back. Alright, take a look at the bucket before Samuel grabs it. Oh. It's right there. Ah, sweet. Tamper. Yeah, I, I, I thought that he had the bucket on him. Okay, let's see if this works. I say go mess with the sprinklers anyway. Wait, so wait. Because she talked about it, so it must be something you gotta do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's where, that's, that's where I gotta do with the sprinklers. Oh yeah. Oh, sweet! Cheek! <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding? Look at this! Jill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look... Great. I can't even chill on the steps. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is going to be perfect. Yes. That's right, Samuel. Put it up there, Samuel. No way. No fucking way, Victoria. Samuel, sorry. Oh, yeah. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. 
So move your ass before I drive. No. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah. Where's Samuel? I want to tell him that he's okay, that he's not in trouble. Nice, bro. Samuel. I think he's on the ladder. Oh, no, he left. No, she scared him off because she's rude. She is uh, extremely rude. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Ooh. All right, you know which one I pick, right? I want to make fun of her, but I know I should comfort her. Better to have friends than enemies, right? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Yeah. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just no. one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Yeah. Yeah. Victoria probably played me. Yeah. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Cool. What did you think of that? Like, do you think it was the right decision, or do you kind of wish you would chose to make fun of her stuff? I, no, I, I mean, if you can get her to like, I mean, she's influential, so I feel like if you can get her to like you, that's a good thing. I don't know. Yeah, get out there, clean her up. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Yeah, she is. Get out there. You run so weird. Red Rum. Red Rum. Stop on Bigfoot's. Read this week's edition of Black Bull Totem. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, who cares? Seriously, who cares? Uh, so where's mine? Max's room. Oh! Oh, you don't have anything on your I don't have anything. How sad. I didn't write anything. Let me draw something. I have nothing to say. I'm gonna read the other slates too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Well, that's that's Max for you. Obvious but true. Yeah, you, wait, you. Just gonna walk away. I, ah, see, this is kind of <laughs> that's a, yeah. Bro yeah. See, I like Brooke. She's cool. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Oh, I wonder why he's not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nobody can see this, but I'm raising my eyebrows really hard right now. <laughs> James, you want to see? Whose room is this? Oh, is that? No. I don't know. Look at Ooh, it. Look at it. Oh, I can look in. I can look in. I'm peering in their room. God. Oh, okay. You're trying to do detective work. I got it. I'm just being sneaky. Look, they got a bowl on the floor with, like, a thing of crackers next to it. Ew. Gross. They got, like, what else is there? The newspaper. Oh, Victoria, give me a <laughs> fucking break. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, go, go back on the right there. We didn't mean that one. Oh. Will Payne for Jesus. Who is this that? Oh, no. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Is that Kate? I don't want to draw on it, though. No, no, no. Do it. Maybe she'll change it, because she said it was mean and stupid. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. That's much better. Whoa. That has consequences? Only good ones, I hope, right? Oh my god. Hey, it's gotta be better than I will bang, will bang for Jesus. Like, well, alright, alright. Aw, grody teddy bear. I know. It's so, like, old and... Home sweet home. Wait, my what favorite does her cocoon. rug say? Keep calm and... Oh, yeah, right. the actual original, <laughs> not the meme. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, so much to look at. I 
I know, but I just need the thing. I just need the flash drive, right? Plant. Instant film, book, guitar. Um, note? What is the note? Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Contents of the flash drive, 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 or of a graphic life altering controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest of care from the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. That's awesome. But, oh, is it in the laptop probably? I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Okay, I need the flash drive though. Maybe, maybe try hitting use or something? Oh no, use just brought me to this. I am so- porn makes me laugh. Uh, it's nice to feel like I already made to. a real friend here. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Okay. Next to your laptop? Sticky note. What does the sticky note say? Looks like uh, Dana left me a little post it note. Oh. Purchase Oh, no. Crap. Who's D? I don't know. Read it Great. again. Now I have to go get the flash oh. drive from Dana's room. Dana. Okay. Who's Dana? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Uh oh. Drama. And you need that flash drive. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Look, I don't care what your drama is. I just need a flash drive so I can go flirt with a boy. Alright, so. Can I just. Can I just. Can I just get by you? Can I. I just gotta. I say talk to her. See what's up, right? That's what you're supposed to do. I don't, I, I just want to get by. <laughs> Smack hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. Oh. No, probably not. How did you find out? Well. Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? <laughs> me? No, what? Mason. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Uh, Thanks for your concern, <gasps> Max Caulfield. Watson. By the way, oh, Juliet man. Watson. Fine. I'm gonna just tell you your right name. Hey, Juliet. Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. This. Yeah. Juliet Watson, you be nice. Yeah. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. I didn't. Thanks. Use I my locked time Dana in because she it. was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. I. I. Uh, how do you know? That's, I would just ask. How, how do you know? How do you know? <laughs> Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Oh my gosh, Jake, you're gonna have to go through her stuff. You're gonna have to go in Victoria's room. Oh gosh! Pull the fire alarm! No, don't do that. No, just... It's open. Yeah, she left it open. Did she really leave a bowl of food lying? Oh, uh, it's a little coffee cup, but... Still, dirty dishes, how gross. Uh, Alright, tablet. I need... What do I need? I don't know, check out her computer. Oh, uh, let me check the tablet. Good idea, yeah, tablet. 
Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. They're uh, not cheap. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. How does one print? Oh, is it an option now? Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, okay. No, go, go, go. Take it. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Are you gonna look at any of her stuff and no, talk about how terrible she is? <gasps> She's out there! No, she isn't. Yeah, I know, I will. Like, I wanted to, but like, I gotta... I gotta go! I gotta meet this cutie Warren. Juliet, Actually, I'm really curious about Warren, Warren too. I just said Warren. Warren. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. Bye. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Yeah, you knew what I came for. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. What? There's a pregnancy test down there. Look at it. What? Didn't you see it flash on the screen? Go back. Go back. Go back to the computer. Right there. Look at it. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Oh, should I pick it up? Should I pick it up? Uh, Max, did, did you pay on that? Mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. Yeah. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Yeah, looking at a pea stick. In <laughs> did you do it already? You ready to rewound? Yeah, because it's still there. Okay. What's the clinic note, though? I assume Dana kept the appointment. Ooh. Okay, but I know, so... Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> Wait, talk to her. Oh my gosh, there's a midterm. Hot, hot pants. Do you see that magazine right there? And she's wearing a skirt. It's not even about a hot, hot pants. Hey, Dana. Yes. Seriously. Yes. Thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Oh, I'm not going to tell her that. Well, it's giving you the option. Just do it. Oh, yeah. All right. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Yeah, I... Of course. <laughs> what? Of course, or you're pregnant. I'm gonna tell the whole world. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. I... Was <gasps> Was. Oh. Oh. What about the other? That beat Dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Shit. I mean, it's not really my business, but like. Who then? And oh, okay. you don't have to All tell right. me. All right. yeah. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash okay. drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Wait, if you said not my business, do you think she'd tell you? 
I don't know. Wait, why would she have a paternity book if she... Oh my gosh, maybe she didn't want the appointment. Oh god. Oh boy. What if she was pressured into it? Yeah, maybe not. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. <laughs> Dr. Bill, not Dr. Phil. <laughs> well, you see, you gotta take the baby, and you gotta... Oh, Warren texted me. <laughs> the Warren text the longer I wait. <laughs> I gotta run my ass to... <laughs> Bye, Alyssa. Whoa! Ow! That hurt! Damn! I better rewind. Yeah, talk to Alyssa Warner. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit! Ow! Okay, I tried to block it, but apparently that's not a thing. Alyssa! Let's take a walk. Alyssa! Move your head! If you insist, Max. <laughs> Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. You can't... This game makes me feel bad about it. I mean, yeah, it has a butterfly effect to it, but, like, you don't think it could be a good thing? You might Get lost, bad. hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I don't know. I'm wondering if, if this guy needed help. Her getting hit in, the head in the head with a football is not life-threatening. Well, like, this guy... Obviously, there's something else going on, and he just broke a window. Do you think we should undo it then? And let it happen, maybe? I don't know. I mean, if you don't care about Alyssa getting hit in the head, I mean, it's, you're right, it's not a big deal. Well, no, because if he's already dealing with something, hitting someone in the head, yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. Because I understand what you mean about breaking a window's worse than hitting someone in the head. Yeah, but both of them are reckless, so maybe, maybe him... Look. Oh, the pole. Uh, maybe him breaking a window. I don't know because what what if what if she was like you know he purposefully threw it. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna intervene. Get out of here. Oh yeah, exactly. He's a hey, bully. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, not well. Not. Yeah. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Good. Like, it, I mean, maybe he's doing oh, his Max, job, but he's that was great. Her. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. Wait, we're getting it tea? It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Are we getting tea, though? I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Yeah, well, he's... He has a butt. I know, even the principal was like, go do your job. When he, <laughs> when he was harassing me the first time, he was like, go do your job. <laughs> Guess we're gonna meet Warren. Oh, Warren. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I can't wait to meet this cutie. Right? <gasps> there he is. Oh my gosh. He better be handsome. I worked a lot for this. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people be. Something, bullied. something, Juliet. He was crying. On the Ooh, what was the graffiti? Can you take a picture? Oh no. Wait, what does this I say? wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Turd something? Tard? Parking? Tard? I don't know. Somebody, somebody's calling somebody a tard. Oh, there he is. Come on over here. Please. Oh my god, calm down. Oh, you are. He's handsome. <laughs> what up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Oh. Thanks. You went over the hug? No problem. Oh, I check out my new wheels. I gotta rewind it. Cool, very old school. 1978 to be exact. Rewind. Now we can go to the drive-in. <laughs> There's one in Newburgh, just 60 miles away. 
You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Rewind, I rewind. Bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Uh... Really? Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that... Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Uh, did I? I don't know if you... Uh... I don't know if I did. Can I rewind, please? He went in for the hug, and I just kind of made it really awkward. Jake, she's an awkward girl. I think these things are just going to happen in the game sometimes. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I've been busy, so we could watch it together. No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. <laughs> ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Wait, did I see it? I don't know. I have no clue. I'm confused. But I want to see it. I want to watch his movies. Maybe just say seen it then. Seen it? I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful yeah, when you say out. it. Pastor Pussycat, kill, kill. What? Hey, I, I guess she's just pushing the issue. Uh... How so? How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Well, okay. Oh god. You need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. <laughs> that was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. We should. But you seem distracted. No, we should. Uh... Mm. I don't know, do you think you should tell Warren? About what? About the fact that she can rewind time. Oh! Yeah! I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren. This is between you and me. Not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch! Well... What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get yeah. away from her, dude! Oh. Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the no. bathroom! <gasps> Whoa. Hello. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Oh, bro, I got this! <gasps> Get in, Max! No, we got it. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Wow. Man, I was surprised. Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. 
It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that you died kind of earlier. <laughs> so what did that freak want with you? Uh. Uh. Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Uh, yeah. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. No, I'll just say worse. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. There's another triangle. Guys, goddamn Illuminati. Maybe it was her that wrote it on the bathroom wall. No, it's the Illuminati and every and everything. Yeah. They're everywhere and all powerful. Broken. Oh, man, are you serial? Wow. She, she says serial like I do. Not everything changes. <laughs> Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. I love her beat up truck. It's 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 pretty cool. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. <laughs> <laughs> She's just as pessimistic as uh, Max is. I wish I had a bird to land on my windowsill. Yeah, there's a pair of boobies right there on the wall. <laughs> Everyone but my room looks a bit no different exceptions. than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Oh, dude, I want to smoke pot. We smoking? We smoking up? We kind of. We kind of. You got some purple haze. You got some pineapple express. You got a. Uh, what you got? Got something blueberry flavored? I mean, your hair's blue. Figure that'd be your favorite. Before I smoke up a smoke up a joint with this girl, I think I'm gonna call call her here on this episode. Illuminati there again, right there in the corner of the room. When's the last time I had to dig through Chloe's crap? <laughs> All right, well everyone, I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode, and I hope you tune in next time. Thanks, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs>